hello guys. Um, sorry about the wait. Thank you for being patient. I'm back here with my okay, good friend and friendly rival mod from the Arcadia server and Team Tuxedo. Hey, say hello mod. Let's see if people can hear you. Hello mod. Let's see if people can hear you. Okay. What were you going to say? No, nothing. Nothing. Nothing repeatable on a family friendly channel. No, no, nothing at all. Just my very good friend mod from the Arcadia server. Who's a sucker for a well-placed pause. So, oh, no, no. Hi, everybody. How's it going? In case you haven't met me before, <laughs> I'm Mod. Um, I'm not sure what else to tell you, really. Okay, Mod is a person who... Uh, well, you you are effectively... The, you are the leader of Team Tuxedo, which is a group of people who play Minecraft, play racing games, have a good laugh, and occasionally record it and stick it up on YouTube as well. And uh, a better bunch of people you're never likely to meet and they're well worth following so i would only really say i'm a leader through not quite default but because i was one of the founding members of the team and essentially team tuxedo is it's a group of friends that happen to do youtube and we're there for each other quite a lot and a lot of issues that we may have we share with each other occasionally i might share them with our friends at home usually through my euro truck series actually but that said and done, um, a lot of the guys on the team do tend to see, say that I'm the King Tuxedo. Is I believe DF's expression, King Tuxedo. DF is your fault, mate. Your well, actually, fault. if it's DF's it's expression, it'd be more King Tuxedo. That. Ah. His name is Mod 1984. He is mm. King Tuxedo. Yes. Yes. Ah. Um, DF, a person who is woefully unsubscribed because his games are, well, his games are fantastic, but uh, quite frankly, his commentary is head and shoulders better. Um, so, right, uh, we're going to play a little bit of Euro Truck Simulator. I'm already logged in onto Europe 1. How are you, sir? I think I'm on Europe 1. I right. soon find out. Excellent. So, all right, as you can see, we'll see here my, my lovely Volvo FH16 with its, its brand spanking new uh, paint scheme, which I actually had to drive thousands of miles to do over Christmas because it was a, a free DLC if you, uh, if you delivered loads of Christmas presents. <laughs> So, right, let's get on to the server. It's telling me I need to restart the game. My connection is invalid. How oh, rude. do I? How rude. Yes, I, I do love my computer mm. sometimes. It's not the computer, it's the multiplayer server. It's still technically an alpha. It's run for free by a good group of people. Yes. Yeah, they're, they're a great bunch. Um, that's, the point, that's the point to remember this, actually. It's actually a mod. Hmm. Yes. Um, oh, well, rested now. Right. I am in... Uh, Koshitz. Yeah, I believe that's vaguely Koshitsa, 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 perhaps, but uh, um, that just sounds rude, to be honest. Um... Oh my God! Hello. <laughs> and, appa a... and apparently you're parked inside me. Okay. Let's just back up a little bit here. I feel the need to apologise for people watching this on. The, I, I'm basically recording this now. This is going to be going up on Sunday on my channel. Mm -hmm. I need to apologise to everybody who are watching on my channel if the frame rate's a bit iffy. I'm recording at 1080p for the first ever time. So yeah, a little yeah. bit of self-promotion there, out the way and done with. Um, fortunately, if you're not watching on Chrome, you don't suffer the 1080p-ness, and the sun is still as good as it was. And here, uh, I don't know if you can see it from, from where you are, Mod, if not, pull forward. It's just looking absolutely brilliant. I can see the sun. It's um, directly up and above to my upper right, mm. and it, I, I think I've got a winter mod on for some reason. Uh, like, is it equal on the multiplayer server, I think? Yes, they, they, um, they haven't turned it off yet, I think. I thought I had it on for a long time. Blur me now. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, okay. So, um, I suppose that what we should really do is is pick a job, really. I think what um, I'd like you to do first, pretty, mm -hmm. pretty please, pretty please, is just pull up alongside me so I can get a screenshot. Okay. You know it's my thing. I have to get a screenshot for the thumbnail. Where are you going? I'm not entirely sure. Hold on a sec. Let's get a proper. Let's get a good view for this. There we go. That's a good view for this. Beep, beep, beep. Yes, it's such a wonderful sound, isn't it? It's all good. 
think that it's all good. I'm happy with that, if you're happy with that. Uh-huh, well, it certainly does work, doesn't it? ka -ching. <laughs> Okay. Right. So, Hello to all my friends in the chat, by the way. Hello to all Simon's friends in the chat. How's it all going? I've got the chat up, so if you do have any questions for either of us, and because, you know, Simon, he might need a break because, you know, he's been playing for a while, he's old, etc. Thank you. You're welcome, old man. <laughs> yes, okay, Sonny. Thank you very much. Sonny. <laughs> Jobs the name. <laughs> so where do, where, do, where do Vikings live? Um, I think they live with Chris. But, uh... Hmm. And yeah, Mike is lowering the tone of the chat there. Good, good job, man. Good job, man. Right. Okay. Should we uh, pick oh, a God, job before we get I blocked like. for not moving fast enough or something? Right. Um, set jobs by route length. I've got one to Debrecen, Gdansk, Leipzig, uh -huh. Stuttgart, Dortmund. Dortmund's and good I've got for me. Page. You got Dortmund? Yep. Dortmund is. Hold on a sec. I've got two for Dortmund. Um, hold on a sec. Why is this giving me? This is giving me directions from Manchester. Uh, hold on, hold on. Okay, that's why. Uh, Dortmund. No, that's because for some reason I was looking at Manchester's list. Could you go through that list again? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played this in a while. Ah, <laughs> oh, Simon. Simon. Uh, Simon. Simon. Uh, Chris says, "Did you know Simon fought at Agincourt? Did you?" Um, I'm I'm not quite that old. No, um, um, I remember hearing my grandfather talk about Agincourt, but uh, yes. Okay, right. I've got. Um, Go on, you first. You first. Okay, I've got Katowice. No. Dresden. Praha. Klagenfurt. There's a name. Graz. Uh, Linz, Gdansk, and Salzburg. I have Gdansk. That's okay. a short trek to the top of Poland. Yeah. Right. I've never been I, there I, as well. I apparently have ten parts, ten tons of car parts to collect. And I've got twenty-five ton of cement. Oh goody! <laughs> yeah. I, I've just also realised because we're on the multiplayer server, the speed limiter is automatically turned on. The speed limiter is automatically turned on. Yep, fifty-five miles an hour maximum. Is Simon Fun going time. to upload this to his channel? He is going to upload this to his channel. Yes, this, for those of you watching the live stream, it's going up tomorrow at 8 o'clock. For everybody watching this now normally on YouTube, I played this last night at 7 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, and I played this last night between, what was it, midnight and 2 a.m. Getting to hear from Manchester. Why am I... Uh, okay, that's why I'm wedged in. You go first. What were you doing? I'm trying to remember the keys. <laughs> So yeah, I was playing this uh, for uh, yeah for two a.m. trying to get here from Manchester. That was loads of fun. Right, I'm just going to get me uh, my cargo, and then we're going to head up to what was it, Gdansk, wasn't it? Yes. And wow, yes. you really, how long did it take you to get here in the end then? Um, a uh, little over two hours. So I thought it'd take you a yeah, while. Your, now. your guess was absolutely correct. Uh, um, and that that's. That was uh, including the time it took for the slight detour because I did what I would technically call a mod, which was uh, hit the central reservation at 90 miles an hour. Oh, mm. you did that as well, eh? I did that, yes. Yeah. Oh, good. It's nothing like 85% uh, damage to help you hit your bank balance. <laughs> oh, yeah, I could totally relate to the <laughs> that one. And by the way, can I just say, mm -hmm. thank you very much for inviting me to be a part of this special live stream of yours. Well, I, I also say thank you very much for agreeing, because, uh, uh, you know, the conversation would be a bit dry otherwise. How could uh, I not? Mm, well, you could say no. <gasps> oh, wow, this looks so crisp in 1080p. I'm sorry, I just, I just switched it in cab view. I can actually mm -hmm. read how many miles are done without having to change the camera to a silly angle. That's good. Although frame rate's about 30 frames per second, which isn't brilliant. But oh, I reckon that part of that's because we're in a city. I'd say that's, that's adequate, though, to be honest with you. Yeah, Simon needs someone to keep him awake. Simon's desperately going to need someone to keep him awake. I'd say, well, we're, we're, we're in our, our um, third, well, coming up to our third hour now, fairly soon, and these traffic lights are not changing. Look at this for a game of Imperial Stormtroopers. <laughs> what if right, we get kicked? Only if somebody reports you. 
I've jumped yeah. on red light already. But then again, it's kind of my thing. Red light, ignore it. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, wow. My, my, I've just realized I've got a temperature gauge on the truck. It says we're a minus 20 degree C. Ooh, nice. Um, I sh shall I meet you by services again? Okay, well, let's, 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 well, let's meet by services. Oh, actually, I've got to go out of town for mine, so... Um, oh, any chance, any chance you could follow me out to E Acres? Or whatever yeah, it's called? Yeah, whereabouts oh. are you? I'll come find you now. Uh, let's let me check. I'm going to be going out to ITCC, which is just out of town. I was hoping I could hook up and follow you now. Yeah, sure. Um, um, I'm at a traffic are going, light. Are you going north or south? I am going south. I'm at traffic lights. Um, can't quite see you just yet. Looking round. Going south, he says. Okay. Uh, oh, I discovered a recruitment agency. Oh, okay. That's helpful. Um, that might be you right in front of me. That is probably me right in front of you. Are you stopped at the lights? Right I'm now? stopped at the lights. Is your truck green? It is. My truck is, as you say, green. And it's the, this is the reasons, guys, why we are such a great, great set of organisers. And there's Mod right behind me. Okay, let's ignore the traffic lights and get out of here. Oh my god, you jumped the red light. I'm yeah. going to report you. I'm going to report you. <laughs> Actually, why am I going first? You need to go first. Uh, uh, well, as far as I can see, I'm going first. The wonders of multiplayer games. Hey! There appears to be a degree of lag. Yes. Well, it's better than the last time we tried doing this together, which we ended up playing on separate servers, basically, didn't we? Or rather oh, separate that's... instances. Yeah. That's fun. Yes, it was. Let's have a quick look at the chat. Um, Dragon Wolf Tamer says, minus 20 degrees C. Crud, that's uh, cold. For all of you who don't use Celsius, that's like minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm. That's yeah. The nice thing about um, Dragon Wolf Tamer is she's fully conversant in American, uh, but has British parents, so she can actually do the conversions, which is more than I can do. I just say it's bloody cold. <laughs> Yes, agreed. <laughs> okay, so right, uh, my e pickup is in here, and then I'll be ready to go. All right, you do that. Mm -hmm. I've just seen a petrol station just slightly up ahead to the right. So, okay. Hope hopefully, if you go that direction, then we can meet up there. But I've got a funny feeling it's going to send us back to Kosis to go north. Possibly, we'll see. Okay, right. Just pick the job up. Take job. I've never been to Poland before in this game. Actually, I've never been to Poland before. I've never been abroad, unless you count Wales. Um, I do. Oh, in that case, I've been abroad. I'm fully justified in doing so. I lived there for five years. Really? Yeah, oh, yes, yeah. I went to university in Cardiff and then spent the next five years saving up to move away. Ah. I think Forty went to university here, Birmingham. Why am I saying Birmingham? That's not Wales. No. No, because 4040 does have a strong connection to Wales, is what I'm thinking. Does he? Oh, I didn't know that. He is a lover of the sheep. I'm sorry, yeah. did I say that out loud? <laughs> You're right, it's going to send me back into town according to the GPS. 40 is probably going to kill me for saying that, actually, so sorry, 40. I, I, I know we have that uh, understanding that we leave your heritage alone. His yeah. dad is Welsh, and his mother is local, born and bred. But mm. he does spend a lot of time in Cardiff, if I remember rightly. I think he went to the Millennium Stadium last year to check out the rugby final or something like that. Uh, I was yeah, he'd be probably yeah. correct. I was living around there when it was built. Well, hold on a Ooh. second. Okay, that was slightly worrying. I was looking in the rearview mirror and there wasn't a trailer behind me. <laughs> Which way do you turn at the end of this road, sir? I, I turn right. Oh, good. Is that you with a great big tanker on you? Yeah, you keep on going and I'll follow, follow, pull in behind you, okay? No, it's not okay. Alright, well, Go. you do it anyway. Go. Okay. I've been told. I have been told. <laughs> Locke says 4040 is a lover of sheep, so he's from New Zealand then. <laughs> oh dear. Well, okay, well somebody, somebody's, somebody's got to love them, 
you know. Yeah, loving sheep I can appreciate, loving chickens, that worries me. You and your chickens, you have a mild obsession with them. You and your mm. friends, your followers, what do you what do you call your fans? I call them my friends. Okay, your friends uh. then, your friends. <laughs> you, you seem to have developed these gullen. Can somebody tell me what the hell okay, I'm gullen? Right, right. Um, one of the first things I built on my Minecraft server was uh, a chicken factory. Okay, uh, yeah. So the the, the whole clucking good chicken thing, where it uh, um, it it have, hatches the chickens, it grows the chickens, it kills the chickens, it cooks the chickens, it packages them up, it sells them in red and white stripy boxes, that sort of so thing. An, so an automatic Sainsbury's set. Yes. And um, when I built one, I, I I just built it in the middle of nowhere. And uh, as a result, when we were setting up the town, I realised I had to move it. So rather than uh, moving it, I just built another one and then set the chickens free at that first one. Okay. But chickens don't despawn, do they? <laughs> okay. So between them and that whole casual habit of I've got two stacks of eggs in my uh, inventory, I'm just going to fling them into the sky and hope for the best. Uh, my spawn town is basically full of chickens. Oh. Okay, so hundreds of chickens. Yeah, a bit like a bit like your house at one point. Um, yeah. <laughs> Before you carry on, this lights. I've been on red for forever. I'm going. I think we're just going to ignore them. You're right. If there's other players around, I think we should respect them. But for now, yeah. Yeah. Let's Sorry, go. Carry on. Let's go. My house. Uh, chicken, chickens. Chickens in chickens in Minecraft gravitate towards water. Oh dear. People in your chat are t discussing turret chickens. Oh yes. Uh, and that, baby turrets and baby turret chickens. Expect that to be a thing. Uh, somebody, uh, probably Melody Flower, will be on my server as we speak building one of those. Funny you mention that because she's the one mentioning baby turrets are awesome. Yeah. Doesn't surprise me in the slightest. She's the one that wants the portal mod installed so we can have turrets. And I think nice. it's. <laughs> I think it's got nothing to do with all the creepers and, and infest the area around her house. Oh, one thing, I've got 25 tons behind me, so I'm going to accelerate a lot slower than you. I'll tell you what then, I have a plan, you can take point, and I'll follow you, because it's a lot easier for me to keep up with you then. That sounds like a good idea, I think, to be honest with you. Oh, two Hear that lock, I'm faster than somebody! Yes! <laughs> well, I'll get to 55 eventually. Actually, it's, it's actually... I'm having troubles getting above 37, oh, just hit 38. Really? Yes. You need to upgrade your truck, my friend. Um, I've got I've got a fully upgraded engine. I've got the biggest engine a Volvo can have. Oh, uh, okay. Twenty-five ton, though. Wow. Yeah, that's. I think that's what's going to do it. The fact that it's twenty-five ton in weight is going to be really, really slow. But we'll get there. All right. Yeah. So where was I? Okay. Yeah. So chickens gravitate to water. So um. I said, and then I started noticing them everywhere, okay, all the way around the server. Wherever there was a body of water, or they were just going there and sitting there and splashing around and looking at us innocently as if to say, well, I'm not doing anything. Don't mind about me. So um, we, st we, we then came up with the um, idea, well, I started calling them chicken gulls, but uh, somebody in the chat on the live stream came up with the name Gullens, and the, Gullen the name Gullens is stuck. And I think it's a bloody good name, to be honest with you. I'm not objecting or criticising. Yeah. I'm just curious. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's the that is the origin story of the Gullen. And uh, and it does seem to be that whenever I set up a new Minecraft world and go somewhere, uh, what will happen is chickens will come into my place magically, magically, course. and just start live in there um, you know even my agrarian skies world which didn't actually have any chickens on there as soon as I made chickens they magically started appearing in the bit that I called home and well you know about the two chickens on um, Arcadia for example that uh, one of them just appeared on the roof and climbed in through there yes they do uh, what, yeah what can you do with that yeah so uh, yeah, the whole Gullen thing is just just become part of the uh, the legend of my Minecraft world. I think <laughs> that's that's worse things. Yes, yeah. indeed there is. Mm. I mean, there's the yeah. You know, for example, the lesser spotted Chris, which has been known to lurk in, in places on Arcadia. 
The lesser spotted Chris. The, yeah, the lesser spotted Chris. Well, I don't cer certainly don't see him very often. I'm not sure if Mike is trolling, but he says that was better than the origin story of Wolverine. <laughs> well, I found, personally, I, I find Wolverine's origin story a bit unbelievable, so, yeah. And a quick shout out to Demonster764. I don't mean to be the dumb one asking this question, but what are we playing? Euro Truck Simulator 2 is the question, my friend. Yes. Um, well, Simon's friend, actually. I don't know you. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we are playing Euro Truck Simulator 2, specifically the multiplayer mod. It looks like uh, 35 is too much for mod, so he's, he's decided that he needs to go ahead. I thought you were keeping up with me. I shall slow down again. Uh, it's. Great although, this. Although I shall slow down a little bit because there's a junction coming up, our turning. Mm. Yeah, um the first bit the first bit of an inclination and my speed goes down to about thirty five. On the flat I can do forty five fifty. So this is gonna be a long journey. Yes. But still we can talk about it and uh well, later on when we've done a bit of driving then um well, you, you've got to do something this evening, from what I understand, so uh, I'll, I'll let you go and uh, we'll go and play something else. But until then, uh, the one, th one of the things I wanted to talk to you about with you on this was um, uh -oh. your charity. Oh, okay. Okay, so... Um, and uh, if, do you want to give a quick chat about, you know, sort of the Million Mile Challenge and, and all that stuff you've been doing there? Uh, as soon as I got out of this junction, is it? Mm -hmm. I've actually got traffic. Oh, good lord. It's also a good opportunity for you to catch up, I think. Yes, which I just have. Oh, goody. Traffic's gone, just as you turned up. <laughs> yep. They must have been replaced with chickens. <laughs> Alright, so uh, on my particular channel, I do the I, I run the Million Mile Challenge, which is a challenge I imposed upon myself to run one million miles in the same truck. I'm currently on 48,652, and I've just gone past 30 mile an hour already. Sorry, Simon. Well, that's okay. Um, I've just gone past 30 mile an hour. Not much, but some. I, ha I have slowed down a little bit <laughs> for you, all, sir. Thank you. Yeah, um, there needs to be a formation driving button. I'm trying to get to 30 and then hit cruise control. And then you can keep up with me from there. If you That's can't it. keep up with 30, well then, sucks to be you. I'll tell you what, I will do the same, I think, so... Ding, 30. Okay, Ding, 30. Ding, 30. Right. Okay, so yes, um, Million Mile Challenge, Matilda, and congratulations, you've done about 9,000 miles since we last talked about this. It's been quite a few. Mm. I mean, I think last time we spoke about this properly was um, when they had the hard drive fader and I lost yes. Matilda the first time around. That was a nightmare. Mm. I mean, I actually realised when I was trying to record a video blog for everybody, when I'm trying to explain to everyone the hard drive failure, I've lost this footage, lost that footage, oh crumb, I've lost Matilda. Stop the recording there and then. But that was good fun. Uh, it's been a long road to recovery from there. We actually found an old profile of Matilda and restored her, more or less, to her former glory. Ouch, your lights are bright, sir. They are, aren't they? And, specific, and also, I must admit, I've taken inspiration from Kurt J. Mack, because he does his Farlands of Bust, walking to the Farlands in Minecraft, in the name of Child's Play. I'm doing it slightly differently, I'm not doing Child's Play. I think everybody does Child's Play. There are other worthy charities out there. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with Child's Play. It's just I think that other charities deserve a bit of love. <coughs> I do apologise, do apologise, sorry. Still not 100% apparently. Yeah, well, as I'm going down, I think people in the chat might want to get used to this, because I'm probably going to sound a bit like that by about midnight. Yes. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Think which midnight. Aberrules. I'm absolutely. I'm to around, and we're going to be doing that on Arcadia. Come back at midnight if you go to disappear before then. Make sure you're here for midnight to watch me kick Simon's ass. <laughs> yes. 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 Watch the watch mod give me all his winnings. Yes. Well, actually, tell us in the chat, guys. Tell us in the chat who do you think is actually going to win this ABBA rules. If you don't know what ABBA rules is, bear with us. We'll tell you what it's all about in a bit. But getting back to me, glorious me, because you're giving me the opportunity to talk about me, and I love the sound of my own voice sometimes. Absolutely. I should be a PE teacher, except for the fact I've got a beer gut, and I have no <laughs> physical inclination to do anything other than... And why should this stop you from being a PE teacher? A fair point. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, hello, Tort. Oh, hello, Tort. You're on 26 viewers, sir, uh, concur concurrently at the same time. Oh, absolutely. Hey, nice. 
Hey, just overtake me, why don't you, mate? Uh, um, I think of that. I've worked out what was wrong with my uh, truck, and I can now go a little bit faster than 30 if you want. Okay, how much faster? Um, well, I can. Pro we'll probably go up to 55. What were you doing wrong? Um, they had a they had a retarder turned on. Um, <laughs> do you really want me to elaborate further on that, or to just twist that? You know. Yeah, go on, twist it as much as you want. Twist it all you can. Go on, because I have no idea what now, it was. I, I, the retarder is the driver of the vehicle in question. <laughs> no, that's retarded. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm... Oh, traffic, quite a bit. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to hold it 50, because this is quite twisty, and I don't like country roads anyway. I don't like country roads in real life, and I don't like country roads in your truck. I can understand that. Let's put those I'm lights not, on a bit. For some reason, I really do prefer city driving. I mean, I've got a little tiny Fiesta, and it handles the country roads just fine, but I've... Because I tend to do a lot of city driving and commuting on motorways, I don't get much experience on country lanes, so that might be my, where I'm... My, where my apprehension's coming mm, from. Well, that's fair enough. Country roads have their own particular terrors to them. Not least the fact that if you're out in the midnight, horses and deer and things like that decide, hey, this is nice flat bit, let's go and walk out on it. <laughs> um, backtracking a little bit, everybody's now saying that you're going to win tonight. Even members of Team Tuxedo are saying that you're going to win tonight. So thanks for the support, guys! Nice to know who my friends are! Well, <laughs> all I can say is we will see. I will point out that I am probably the poorest person on the Arcadia server at the moment. How are you? Um, mostly by the fact that I, I think I spend a hell of a lot more time building stuff than I should, and not nearly enough time mining for stuff. What you need is a pet Murtite to do all that for you. Yes. Yes, uh, I know, and I've, 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 I've tr tried seducing her with diamond swords, but it doesn't seem to be working. So, yeah, I think I think you're stuck with her. Uh, lucky you. I'm happy to be stuck with her. Oh. Um, okay, we've actually had quite a few explain ABBA rules in, the co in your mm -hmm. comments, in your chat. So, would you like to explain ABBA rules before I carry on with the Eurotruckness? Um, I don't. I don't think so. Uh, look, if, if you guys are, are, are around, let's just give a five-second uh, description again. Okay? Abba Rules is a mining competition in Minecraft where two or more people start off with silk touch picks and basically go and mine their hearts out for a fixed length of time. Then at the end of that, we um, tote up the, 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 the items found, both quality and quantity, and give points out. And the winner and this is why it's called Abba Rules, takes it all. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -ba yes. yes. Um, vintage, I don't know why I did countdown, though. Vintage Beef is not known for his subtlety of humour. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, yes, Whether I win or lose, I'm looking forward to it. I've got to be honest, so am I. I'm really looking forward to this. I think it's going to be a laugh. I, I've not played an Abba Rules competition for a while, and they can be really enjoyable. And, and besides, it gives you a chance to just get out there and mine and let go and... And we're right back on a larger road, so this is probably making you feel a bit more comfortable, yeah? Sorry, say again, I was concentrating reading the cat and... The cat? Yes, it's reading the cat! Yeah. And also seeing whereabouts you were, and that's you right behind me, isn't it? It so is me foot. right behind you, yes. Putting the foot back down. Okay. Not too much, though. See you, Locke! It feels... Yeah, bye, Lock. It, it, it's weird being the faster of somebody. Usually it's other people with their trucks going, going overtaking me. Mm. Especially Watsons with their Volvos. Yeah. Well, and then we got F1 mm. and the, the future Project Cars Championship that we're going to be doing. I'm more than likely going to lose that by a mile. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, I think one of the things to bear in mind here is that I've got uh, twice the load of you. I've got, well actually I've got 700 brake horsepower engine, so I've got a fairly meaty engine on this. And it's the best one that this class of vehicle can take. But still, I think you're definitely going to have the acceleration advantage here. More than likely. Yeah. Do you want to take point again? Um, no, I think we're, we're fine now. I've turned off the retarded. Sorry, the retarder. I'm, I will keep, keep you in sight at the very least. Alright. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to having rules. Uh, yeah, so right, let's go to go back to your your charity a little bit here. So, do you want to do, talk a little bit about that? Yes, backtracking a bit. I do mm -hmm. apologise. I'm just trying to. This is your live stream. I'm trying to make that's, it about you. I'm sorry. That's all right. Um, this, this is this is, this is the, the joy, and I I'm 
this is something that I, I can't say stress enough. The the chat here is in this is absolutely fantastic. The people that come along are absolutely brilliant. And they're all totally insane, which is part of the fun. Oh yes. Well, the mini mile challenge of splitting up into ten individual chunks, each one of a hundred thousand miles. I'm nearly halfway through the first chunk of miles. Uh, like I say, I'm on 48,000 miles, 747 now. We've done 100 in the last few minutes. Excellent. Mm, nice. Yes, um, point getting to... Oh, Murtai says the, the Vitaler is in front of you. <laughs> That's Murtai. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, she's, there's, there's nothing like a supportive woman. Yeah. Uh. Love you too, woman. Love you too. So, um, the first portion of my Million Mile Challenge, I've been running for Papyrus, which is a charity in the United Kingdom which deals specifically with teenage suicides and ha helping teenagers with any issues they may have, specifically de depression related, and also raising awareness in society to try and remove any stigmas associated with suicide, because how many of you would be quite happy to sit down with someone and go, so I know someone that committed suicide and would actually discuss this. I can honestly mention one or two people. Train! No! Train! It's a long no. one. Oh, uh, and it's not likely to kill us as well. Okay, very good. Uh, <laughs> it's all good. But yeah, um, there seems to be a huge social taboo on discussing suicide and, and as, as an extension of that depression. I mean, depression is just one of the, another one of those invisible illnesses that people seem to think, oh, well, you seem to be okay on the outside, right. therefore you are fine. And, and a lot, I have heavy experience with depression, not only with myself, but also with a large portion of my friends. And also, to an extent, uh, a large proportion of Team Tuxedo yeah, have, including have, myself. have depression issues. Yes. Oh, did not know that. Yeah, I although, yeah. although not, with hindsight now, I could probably... Yes. Mm. <laughs> if you know what you're looking for, yes. But I take people on face value. I don't feel the need to analyse them and just go, oh, you do this and you've got that or not. But with depression is in particular, it's very hard to get people to understand unless they've been through depression themselves. Like, for example, a few people I know, they get told quite happily, you're okay now, you had the night's sleep, you were alright today, but you'll be okay in the morning, won't you? Or, it's okay, you'll get over it. That's the biggest one I think I've heard, you'll get over it. Mm. But you don't really. No. That's why it's called depression. It's not just a, a bad day. It's a long period of time where you are suffering from... Well, I think the polite way of putting it... Well, the impolite way of putting it, I suppose. Eek! Actually. Sorry, sorry, my fault. The brakes no, no, totally my fault. I was not paying attention to the road. I was paying attention to you. No, it's, not, it's actually <laughs> my fault. Definitely my fault because my brakes are usually quite soft, as I may have mentioned many a time during my videos, and I keep hitting things. I haven't hit anything yet, that's weird. Yes. But it was on 0% damage. Well, it's very I weird. almost changed that for you. Yes. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but for some reason, my brakes actually decided, right, now's the time you're going to work. <laughs> no, bad brakes, bad, not now. Right, back up to 50, I am. Uh, getting there, slower than you, but getting there. But yeah, point is, it's it's one of the it's another one of those invisible illnesses. So you know, where just because you don't look like there's anything wrong doesn't mean to say that the inside of your mind isn't instantly hating yourself and everything you do. And that's just one aspect of depression. You could just be, have really low mood. I mean, to the point where you can't be asked to get out of bed and jump in the shower for five minutes. Yeah, um, yeah someone's exactly. just asked in the chat: Is there a link on my channel to the charity? Um, I, there is actually. If you look at any of my Euro Truck videos, generally the very first link in the description, sharp left coming up, Simon. The very, very first much. link to appear in the description for my Euro Truck videos is to the JustGiving.com page that I've got. JustGiving.com/mod1982, and uh, I believe if you get to a thousand pounds by Thursday, then I am going to be wearing a pink Minecraft skin for three months. Yes. I'm already on. I'm already on one month at this point. I'm ready on one month, so if, it, if it's only one hundred and ten pounds away from hitting that grand target. Thank you, Murtai. Thank you, Chris. Much appreciated. Um, yeah, actually, Shizzy, if that doesn't show on the chat, would you kindly uh, repeat that link? Um, JustGiving.com/mod1982, so that everyone can see it. 
as uh, some sometimes the the links won't show unless an administrator po uh, not an administrator a mod posts them. Uh, that's a mod, not a Muratai, <laughs> I'm afraid, yeah. <laughs> Mega Race 25. Mod, why don't you like the colour pink? Go on. Hey, Q&A time. Yeah, why not? Throw some questions, guys. Throw some questions. Um, why don't I like pink? Well, it starts off innocently with just a, a general, someone tries something pink, and I comment, oh, I don't like that. Why not? I'm not overly keen on pink. And then that's transformed into everyone bombarding me with pink to the point where I just now can't stand it. No, I don't like pink. Not anymore. It used to be a fun little thing, but now it... When you when you get pranked on Minecraft servers with pink things, like say swimming pools being filled with... No, not swimming pools. My house was filled with pink glass ones. And you... what else did it do? What else happened to me involving pink? <coughs> you that's didn't... right. Yeah. Sorry, go on. on you first. I was going to say you didn't even like that subtle and tasteful skin I found for you. No. No, not one bit. <laughs> so what was the other one? Um, I think Lock... I said to Lock during a, my first race across Europe, which is a Euro Truck live stream where I'd race from Debrecen all the way across to Aberdeen. And I think my record... Well, not record. My personal best is about an hour and a half. Yeah. But I said to the people, the nice kind of people at home, if you can get it to... Oh, traffic. Oh, quite a bit of traffic, actually. Steady on time and I'm stopping. If you, if you can get it to a certain amount, then I'll do this. And Locke turned around and he says, Oh, I'll tell you what, if I throw in £100, will you, make, will you turn your truck pink? So I said, you know what? Okay. So he did. I was like, you mother. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Yeah, um, I think, think that's about the, fr the where I started following you. Yes. Taught, um, that year you were one of the big donators as well. You'd I was, like. yes. Yes. That haircut didn't stick, I see. Um, if anybody's lagging, I suggest hitting either F5 or being patient because there's a Halo Championship on at the moment. Um, and yeah. yeah, it's also Saturday evening, and this is what Twitch does. It's Twitch. Uh, yeah. Twitch has just got. Hmm. Yes, Tort says, "Have you picked your pink skin?" I know people have submitted a few. I've had one submission so far. No, two actually. Tell a lie. Three. Alzraf submitted two, and you, Simon, have submitted one. Alzraf's hmm. are edits of my existing skin, and. Yours is just a pink blob of <laughs> I think it's meant to be a pink creeper. It was just bleh. It was pretty much, yes. Yes. I, I wasn't I wasn't actually um, submitting that for any other reason than to do induce nausea in you, I've got to be honest. Uh, but it sounds a bit it worked. But yes, in a nutshell, I don't like pink because mm. it's it just it was an innocent I don't like pink that's been blown out of all proportion. Yeah. Uh, Honestly, part of it is me actually just playing along with it. But then when Squirrel, he came along to help me move house with Murtai. And he presented me with the little tiniest pot of fluorescent pink paint. that It looked like it, be, it, looked like it was created in Chernobyl. It was that <laughs> And I actually still have that pot of pink paint in my room. As a little reminder that I do actually have nice, kind, considerate friends that do care for me. In fact, for anybody watching my Euro Truck on Sunday... Here it is. Here is the little pot of pink paint in my room, under my, right by my computer table. <laughs> oh dear. I think I, I think I know the shade that he he picked for you, and it's it's quite painful. Yes. But, yes. But yeah, it's just a, a nice reminder that the internet is actually quite a good place for me. Is mm. it? I've met some great friends, and I believe I'm meeting you face to face soon. Yes. Yes. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, so yes. It involves me getting my passport out because I'm travelling up north, but um, yes. I thought that would only apply if you're coming from Cornwall. Um, well, yeah, you you got to understand that some of some of my some of my uh, my 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 relatives actually believe you need a passport to visit the nearest city. Uh, really? Oh yes. Oh wow. Uh, you don't want to go there. They cut your head off and stick it on a pole. They will. Let's have a quick look at the chat. People say, why would people want to watch Halo instead of this? This is the best thing ever. Well, we've got 23 viewers here, Simon. Yes. I mean, for me, that's um, if anyone watching any of my content, that's a personal best. But this is my uh, channel. This is my Twitch stream, so it doesn't count for me. But for you, how does that stack up? 23 is pretty good. I've got to be honest with you, especially the fact that I didn't actually do a hell of a lot to advertise this. I've tried so. to do some for you. Ooh. I think a few of the other guys on Team Succeed have as well. Yeah. I mean, a few people have done some stuff, and I've done a little bit, and... Uh, 
uh, uh, Shizzy and and Dragon Wolf and that have, do do they their usual good works on this? But uh, yeah, I could have sung and danced about this a little bit more than I sang and danced about this. But uh, I'm I'm really happy with the number of people that turned up, uh, especially because they are a really great bunch. And are, uh, well, you can see the chat is absolutely fantastic here. Oh yes, think the singing and dancing people. Mm. If somebody could please refresh the page and tell. Uncle Simon, how many followers he's now on? Last time I checked, it was on 195. If he gets another five followers to his Twitch channel during the stream, he'll be on the mighty 200. Yes. 200 followers. Yay. Yes. That is a. That's actually that's actually quite a milestone, to be totally honest with you. That is, if you could do that during hmm. today, that would be fantastic. It will absolutely. And uh, so yeah, that, that's pretty much the, 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 the whole charity, the whole Euro Truck Simulator thing. Is pretty much how I met you. I was. Uh, I was bored one day, and you were very close to a, a milestone, weren't you? I can't remember what exactly it was, but uh, um, you needed about a hundred pounds to get there. So I gave you two challenges, and I, I, I threatened to donate a hundred pounds for each one of them. And that was at the stage when I had met a few people, well, had read comments, I should say, from a few people hmm. who were basically promising the same thing. So I was quite apprehensive, a bit skeptical of your offer. Oh, I can't blame you. So when it took, so when it took quite legit and you're right oh pardon my french oh yeah i just wasn't concentrating sorry what, what have you done <laughs> uh nothing much just uh i just did a mod basically okay uh, i'm good okay right moving on uh right do I, do I need to wait for you uh i'll catch you up um about 25 percent damage oh goodness yes Ah, we're in a town, actually, aren't we? Yes. Do you want to pull over services? I think I'm going to pull into services. Yes. All right. I'm going to go straight on at this junction. All then. right. Yeah. It very much looks like the traffic lights have uh, broken. Yes. Also, it's, I hate to mention this, but it's now five to eight. Time's flown. It has, isn't it? Oh uh, well, it's up to you. I know you need to go out. So, um, yeah, we can, we can, we could actually call this. Uh, uh, a point where we uh, we take um, we, where we call it a break, yeah. If you want okay. to, and I'll, we can I'll, wrap up and I'll, oh, yeah. Don't turn, don't turn here, mod. So oh, people are saying you need two more followers in the chat. People, if you haven't hit the follow button on Simon's channel, go hit it. Get in two hundred. Get to two hundred. Well, I certainly won't. Button. I certainly won't, won't complain if button. you do. No, um, <laughs> and likewise, guys. Okay, um, mods charity is a very, very valid one. So, um, I, right. I, I strongly suggest that you guys follow, follow mod, watch the Euro Truck if that's the sort of thing that interests you. And if you have yeah. a spare bit of cash, make a donation. I was going to say it's also probably worth mentioning that my, my Euro Truck series is my blog. Essentially, mm -hmm. it's what I use to keep people informed with things going on in my channel, real life thoughts, etc, etc. Uh, it's not it's not everybody's cup of tea because it's pretty much me just driving a truck talking shit. <laughs> I'm not going to beat you about the bush on that one, I, I do talk a lot of crap during it, but oh, services. Yep, all right. <gasps> Majestic truck dealer discovered, what a way to end the episode, thanks for watching, <laughs> bye bye. Okay guys, well I'm going to call it there, and um, well, I presume mod you will be picking this up in a future Euro Truck episode, and um, and sorry, I was pausing there because I was trying to concentrate on turning and uh, completing the delivery. I will be doing it, but off camera. Oh, and it's worth pointing out the nice thing about uh, service stations and things like that is they're no collision zones, so you can actually drive through people without crashing into them, which is very useful. Coming in then. Come on. Uh -huh. Come on. Ah, someone's driven into me. Go away. <laughs> and I'm just about to mount Carlos from behind. Thank you very much, Shizzy, for sharing the links and for everybody else. Much appreciated, everybody. Yeah. Much love to you all. Okay, well, thanks for the coming on, Mod. Really appreciate it. And Mate, you're more than welcome. Yeah, I really it's do. It's been an absolute yeah. pleasure and an honour. Thanks, and it's it's been it's been great uh, talking with you and showing off my total lack of driving skills. <laughs> so uh, thanks a lot, and uh, everyone else in the chat. I'm going to take a another five minute break here, just uh, refresh my cup of coffee, and then we'll be back with the Sims Four. And this Before time. We go. Before we do go, I just want to say to everybody, if you want to see more awesomeness that's modern Simon, 
talking together and giving each other abuse. Abrules, 12 o'clock, which is in four hours from now. Come back. Yes. We'll be on the Arcadia server. One of us will emerge victorious. The other one will have a hashtag bod sucks. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to uh, uh, invent a hashtag Simon sucks for that one. We'll see how we go. Anyway, thank you very much, yeah. Simon. Thank you very Thanks much, Doc. Thanks for coming on. See okay. you all soon. See ya. Bye.